use, I'm using the five blade on him. And you know, the, the shorter the better so the dog doesn't have to come in as often, right? The groom is gonna last a little bit longer so I'm not gonna try to do any kind of fancy scissor cut on him. We wanna try to give him a, a quick easy trim that isn't gonna stress him out and isn't gonna get anybody hurt. Okay, so I'm gonna start off on his body. That's a boy. And because he still is intact, his back end is a, a very sensitive subject on him. So I'm very gently just gonna pick him up and I'm gonna start behind here. And because he's got this, the groomer's helper on him, I can kind of shorten him up in this area here. And so now he can turn his head, but he can't get around an, enough reach to be able to bite the clipper or bite Sue. So, and all of the, all of the weight or all of the pressure is actually taken off of his neck from using the groomer's helper in this area. Now you can see what I'm doing right here. I, I, all, I have a very gentle hand underneath here and I'm holding on to him and I'm not letting go of him. Every time he struggles and fights, if you jump and you let go, like I know right now he can't turn around and he can't get me with that groomer's helper on him. So but it, every time he pulls this and I stop, it's gonna give him that, ooh, I've gained an inch and then they're gonna go for a mile. And every time you have to try to regain his back end and then calm him down again, it's gonna make the grooming 10 times longer and 10 times worse for everybody. You can see, just hang on. You know, if, I mean, when they're really jumping around like that and they, they're tugging and pulling and everything, I stop, just kind of stop what I'm doing. I don't shut off the clipper and I don't, I don't let go of them. Let them kind of think it through. Now always make sure you're using the F blades. If you have a dog that's jumping around like this, don't use a skip tooth blade or an open end blade because what's going to happen if he jumps around and your clipper hits a certain spot, you know, where they're real sensitive in the armpits or underneath the leg, um, what's going to happen is you're going to wind up cutting the dog and then of course that makes it more traumatic for the dog. So try to use you know, a 7F, 5F, just something where you can get it short and um, No animals were injured in the making of this DVD. <laughs> Only the groomers. <laughs> I'm gonna go change my pants. <laughs> oh goodness. So you can see our little Argyle here. He, he pretty much means business. He's really not happy about this. I'm not baby talking him. I'm not yelling at him. I'm not leaving a pom pom on his tail. <laughs> So because, because he is pretty, pretty difficult, we're going to make this as easy as possible. He doesn't, he's very, very sensitive about his back end, and I'd be willing to bet it's because he still has testicles. We're not going for style, we're not going for looks, we're going for get off as much hair as much as you can so the dog doesn't have to come back as often and just make him look the best you can. Okay, see, I just stopped and let him figure it out. He didn't get anywhere. But one of those things, if you have a difficult dog like this that's just trying to eat you while you're grooming him, and you stop and you baby talk him and you say, oh, it's okay, you're a good boy, you're a good boy, you're basically reinforcing all the bad habits and the bad traits that, that he's showing Sue right now. You're telling him he's good for trying to eat you. So it's better just to get the dog under control, to be able to get the dog under control, get the job done, get it done fast. Don't sweet talk him, don't baby talk him. Just you want to get the business done and get him out the door. Once again, if he wasn't in this groomer's helper and he was just in a regular noose, he'd be hanging himself right now and he'd be choking himself, his tongue would be turning blue, he'd be drooling all over the place. So this is just, you know, this little device, um, as simple as it looks, is just a great tool to be able to help control these dogs, especially with me as a mobile groomer. I use this, you know, just um, most of my dogs I'll use it on the first couple of times and then after that they're fine and I don't have to use it anymore unless I just have one that doesn't like the dryer, doesn't like the bath, something like that, doesn't like its nails. And we're going to show you, we'll show you, we'll show you different techniques to use if you don't have a groomer's helper also in this DVD. So.
and a lot of it is just basic handling techniques, the way you hold them, the, the way you position your body when you're grooming them, that sort of thing.